Hello, my name is Justin Adams, and welcome to Jay's Days. Joy is the new movie from director David O. Russell, the man who brought you American Hustle, Silver Lines Playbook, The Fighter, and my personal favorite, I Heart Huckabees. The movie is starring the typical O. Russell crew, Jennifer Lawrence as Joy, Robert De Niro as her shitty father, and Bradley Cooper as a guy who I guess helps her out in her business. The story is about Joy, a doer, a dreamer, and the mind behind the Miracle Mop. She's divorced, she's a mom, and she has debt to pay. Not only that, but her her house is full of family members, chaotic family members. Her, her mom, who's addicted to soap operas, her dad, who is just an asshole, like I said before, and her daughter, who's sweet, the typical, hey mom, how's it going? And her ex-husband, who wants to be a singer, I guess, something something like that. But they're they're divorced, and they and he lives in the basement with her dad. How funny, sitcom stuff. Oh, what can possibly go wrong? During all of this chaotic shit, Joy comes up with the idea of the Miracle Mop, changing her life and all of theirs forever. Joy so desperately wants to be the new Aaron Brockovich. No joke, it has all of the beats. It has the daughter, it has the, the strong female lead, it has the people trying to trying to bring her down, it has the, the quip lines, it has everything that all the pieces to be the new Aaron Brockovich. But it doesn't have one thing. The difference between Aaron Brockovich and Joy is that Aaron Brockovich had a story about this girl that was worth telling, that was like they didn't need to change things because the girl was already badass enough. Joy is a movie that has a story, has this this like kind of Aaron Brockovich like tale going on, and it decides to not use its source material at all and just create a movie around this. It, it like David O. Russell didn't even use the girl's last name. Is Joy like Mantango or something like that? I might have fucked up her last name. I'm terrible at last names. He didn't want. He publicly said that he did not want to make a full-on biopic. He just wanted to make a movie about a, a strong woman, blah, 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 used her products to go out there and be like, women are cool. So that's what he wanted to do. He just wanted to do basically a love letter to all strong, independent women. And you know what? I can I can totally respect that. But the movie just, you, you need to make a good movie. Now, David O. Russell's great. Like I said before, he's one of my favorite directors of all time. He has the, the power of creating characters that feel real and just they, they just they feel like real people they like all of the, everything that they say everything that they do it's because he takes his time during the filming process the, the reason why he is so like hot-headed as some people say if you read things on him is because he doesn't really go by the script he likes seeing where the characters go with the stories so he's not really a guy who likes story he's a guy who likes character and now while his strong suit are characters and human emotion his strong suit is not story and that's what joy is focusing on the, the movie is focusing on story but david o russell wants to focus on these characters but these characters aren't interesting enough to make the story good enough to watch again to like come back to like that's the thing about david o russell like silver lines playbook american hustle the fighter i heart huckabees these are movies that you watch once and they're either so confusing and so fast that you need to watch it again, or you just want to watch it again because they're just great movies. Joy is not, it does not fall under that category. It's confusing mess, and it, the entire time you're like thinking, okay, I can tell this is directed by the dude. I can tell that these are all the same people, but I do not feel the energy. I don't feel the type of, hey guys, we, we need, we're making something that is good. I feel like it's something like, all right guys, we are making something and we are gonna get money off of it. <laughs> now, even though I am very mixed about this movie, it does not mean I hate it. I do not hate it. I actually don't hate it at all. The reason why I don't hate it is because it is a David O. Russell film. If you watch it, you're like, okay, this is David O. Russell. This is something that I would expect from him. Now, sure, it may not be his best one, but certainly not his worst one. If you guys watched my top 10 worst movies of 2015, then I talked about his worst one. It's Accidental Love. It's not even, it's the movie that's so bad that he took his name off of it. Now, if we're talking about uh, Accidental Love, then Joy is just as good as Silver Lines Playbook and American Hustle. But if we're talking about Silver Lines Playbook and American Hustle, then Joy is just as bad as 
accidental love. Now the main problem with this movie, you now you're probably not going to hear it, if you've seen reviews or read reviews on Joy, then this is not going to sound new. The characters are just horrible. Now Joy is just fine. Jennifer Lawrence as Joy is great. She's beautiful, she's solid, and she holds the movie together. But she does not save the movie at all. Sure, she can make the even the worst scenes pop, like the scene where uh, she's on TV and her product is making money. It's just so terribly done. Like, I never thought that I would say that about a David O. Russell movie. But it is. It's not done well. We, I just didn't buy any of it. The only reason, though, the scene worked is because of Jennifer Lawrence. Every scene, the only reason why this movie is not horrible is because of Jennifer Lawrence. But her family and the people that she interacts with are so shitty, man. They're, they, they're, they're so shitty that it makes me want to punch myself in the face. Like... They're all extremely self-absorbed, and they do not give two shits about what Joy has done or is doing for them. They just look at her like she's the biggest disappointment in the world, and it's so sad. I don't know if that's Joy's real family. I don't know if that's, that's her real family, or if this is just a David O. Russell creation gone wrong. But whatever it is, I feel bad for both parties. Alright guys, that's what I think about Joy. What do you guys think about it? If you guys have seen it, or liked it, or hated it, let me know in the comment section below. Yell at me, defend me, blah blah blah. Let's get a conversation going. And guys, please stay tuned. I have more reviews coming for you. I have my review for Anomalisa coming out, which I cannot wait for. Uh, the Revenant and The Big Short. Those are my three movies that are going to be coming at you guys, hopefully within the next week. Alright guys, that's all I got. Thank you. Subscribe, like, all that stuff. Ba ba ba. Yes.